Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope y'all are doing great. I'm doing okay. Welcome back to Embellishments on 11th, hosted by Dev Hoax Crafty Cottage here on YouTube. Everyone that's participating will be in the description box below. Please go over and check them out. Uh, this For this month, I chose to do things for some journals that I plan on working on very soon. So I used this paper from Amenta. Some of these patterns, I thought this was really pretty. And I think you get 36 sheets in here. Which is a really good deal. I've used most of it out. And it was only $1.99. So, you know, I like when paper pads are $1.99 versus $2.99. I also use this stencil from Dilutions. It is called Circles, I believe. I use this Tim Holtz Ticket Booth uh, situation right here. It's called Ticket Booth CMS337 if you are interested. Um, I really, really like that. I got, my friend showed me this last year and I was like, why don't you just blah, 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 blah. And then I saw it used on YouTube and I was like, uh, taken away. And I used this Iron Orchid Designs. I used this stamp right here. And then I used this stamp right here. If you're not familiar with Iron Orchids, these stamps are ginormous. And if you're interested in looking them up, they do have a YouTube channel. I think it's called Iron Orchid Designs, but you can go right there and look them up. Everything that I'm showing you, I pay for with my own money. I'm not sponsored. I just want to share with you what I used prior to getting started. And I use this uh, makeup contour brush. Use two of those from the Dollar Tree. They don't have them in my area anymore. It's a hit or miss situation. I also use this brush box forest green. And I use this uh, Hickory Smoke Distress Archival Ink along with Gather Gathered Twig. So what I did, what I did is thought about what I'm going to be using these embellishments on, and I'm going to be making some little junk journals or journal journaling books. So I use these cards. Now these are all six by six, and I want to say I use the exact same. Uh, I also use my envelope make i use the um six by six it's supposed to be two by five eight so it's a three and five eight two and five eight and you can see the sizes are different so i got two sizes of one and three sizes of another i didn't want to make a lot of envelopes but i distressed the front and the back just in case and this is how they look on the inside i decided not to make it a white envelope and have the color just poking through i thought this would be um, a lot better and i do plan on putting this in a pocket now hear me out. i plan on putting this in a pocket and putting a few like embellishments or punched out you know whatever i'm punching out that time or maybe a few stamped images in there that they can put on their projects um and then on one of them i tore the paper when i was tearing it out so what i did is i just took my circle punch and punched it out to create that little uh, curve and then these two I don't know why these are funky shapes probably because they are um, line and I wasn't paying very good attention to them but I think they're all very pretty you can just stuff stuff into them then I made these tickets which I really enjoy making them and so all you need is some ink black ink I think would work best in this project and I stamped them out and then I cut them and I use one solid strip of paper like this and I just stamped out a few. I didn't want to go crazy because I think you get 10 stamps. Let's see. 10 stamps and 6 dies. So, of course, some of the dies do double duty. Um, so, I stamped out a few on one strip and I just ran it through my Gemini Mini. Um, I didn't want to pull out a big machine. But if you stamp them out, you could probably place them all on one sheet and run them through your Bagavon or your Sizzix big shot or your gemini whatever the heck you use to cut out your dies so right here i wanted you to see them plain so these are plain not distressed these are the fresh tickets that you're going to get when you travel wherever you're traveling and tear that part off i really like these a lot i like tickets in some of the things i feel like i don't have to buy any more from the dollar tree i can make my own so i can save a few bucks there because i tend to overspend at the dollar tree probably because everything's a buck right and you're like oh it's just a dollar but if you get a hundred things that's a hundred dollars right plus tax so um this is how it looks distressed and um i use gather twigs because i think any brown dis any brown distress ink will 
give you the color that you're looking for versus um, always going for the more known which I tend to try to grab the vintage photo but I think this looks vintage enough um, and then I got I did two tickets and I was gonna do a lot of those that's why I have that strip on the side but then I was just like ah eh. no and a little roommate came in and was um, trying to craft with me when I did this a few days ago um, so I remember these tickets from the movies when I was going to the ticket to the movies um, you know they tear it in half and each day they would pick different colors to use so I use I made those and these are vintage or distressed and then these are just regular now also when you stamp these out like um, I'm not sure if you could notice or noticed it um, I didn't I didn't always get like I was so excited about stamping that I didn't stamp them out all the way clear and I think that's fine because if you went to the movies you probably remember some of the tickets looking a little bit off or funky so I was like that's really cool brought it back a little a few memories um, and then these right here I think these are oh travel travel tickets as well and so uh, as you can see they're all off a little bit which I think is par for the ticket course if you've ever purchased tickets you know they're a little bit kind of funky <laughs> And so I just distressed these. These are the only ones that have single on there. So I did those. And then I did some stenciling and stamping. I thought this would be really, really cool for journals as well. So everything I made today um, is intended for journaling. Um, so I did um, the background first was a stencil. And then I used the gather tweaks right here and the gray the smoky hickory smoke which is gray gray and so originally I did green first you can see like this green tint right here and then it goes into gray I thought that was really cool now I don't know what is um, it says premium dye ink stamp pad I'm not sure who brush box is um, you know I'm not sure what kind of ink it is but I, I like using those and a lot of the inks I have that are not Ranger or Memento is from D stashes, so they still work really well. Some of them are extra um, thick. So this is kind of like I'm going backwards to forward, if you can't tell. Um, but this is kind of like stamp all over the place to get the ink off before you clean your stamp, which I think is really cool because you know sometimes when you get stamp um, pictures, they have a lot of over. Uh, images are over them and I thought that would be really cool to do and I thought this was really nice I just wanted to do this color most of the time butterflies are not just one solid color but I thought this would be very really cool in case I decide to put this in so I can turn this over and write on the back um, this one is probably my favorite because it has the colors that I like a lot and it just looks fun in my opinion it has those little dots circles and then this little B is stamped out a few times some of this whole mixed media ish stuff is coming from me watching Don H creates she's been doing iCAD um, the month of June I think it's for June and July I'm not sure I think it's two months of iCAD and you know when you watch people create you pick up things that you want to try and so I'm not getting into the mixed media thing even though I feel like I want to do mixed media my whole entire time I've been crafting but this definitely made me want to pull out some of my things and use them and play around. I think this was my first one that I did. And I just did this one to be a little bit opposite. So that is what I have created for this month's embellishments on the 11th. Please check the description box out and see what everyone else has created. I want to say thank you all for watching. And until next time, happy crafting.